HTTP context inside controller inside the startup.cs class we have to call the add HTTP context accessor method of the services object inside the configure services method HTTP context is now enabled now inside the controller we'll start by adding a namespace now I am creating a private property of the IHTTP context accessor interface. Now I am creating a constructor for the home controller and I am passing the IHTTP context accessor object to it. Inside the constructor, I'll be setting the private property with the object of the IHTTP context accessor object, which is passed as a parameter. This process is known as dependency injection and it is used in all the ASP.NET Core projects. And now inside the action method, I am accessing the HTTP context object through the accessor. That's it. For more information, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.